Hi friends, uh, one of the subscriber was looking uh, about replication and synchronization task uh, topic to be discussed. So I came up with a, uh, <coughs> a quick understanding about the same topic here today. So basically the replication task means uh, to make an identical copy, that exact copy, whatever you see from the source side. Uh, uh, and replicate into the target site so it will be identical for example employee table is the uh, the 14 records for assuming that 14 records is that this exact 14 records will be mirror copied but here there is no transformation uh, transformation as such it will be involved it will be replicating straightforward and and the 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 uh, ultimate goal of this replication task uh, in the business use case standpoint they will use for offline reporting purpose on some cases they will use it for migration and some cases or oh, database recovery also they can use it but most predominantly this will be used under offline reporting for analytical purpose uh, business intelligence side and if you go into the oracle side how the metalized view been taken care for full refresh uh, like uh, fast refresh or complete uh, means like uh, uh, delta refresh uh, whatever you do it the similar way the implementation here if you see either it can be a full uh, data replication source to target or incremental data replication all those things when i go uh, deal with you the practical demo so that time i will describe all these things how it can work out and when we jump into synchronization task it's almost uh, uh, pretty much similar to the replication task but only thing is it's it's going to keep a update a, a updated information in so sync up but and and the ultimate goal here in synchronization task is to ensure the accuracy and and uh, whether the data is secured and compliance uh, 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 to the business side uh, and finally placed to the target system so when we talk about accuracy security secure and compliance so we are ensuring it's it's going as a clean check a clean data with checked uh, check for errors uh, and uh, duplication free and it's consistent data when we say consistent data it should be uh, either completely committed or completely rolled back so it should be a uniform data that's what we are talking about here so again the implementation side similar to replication what we have mentioned above so here um, it's like table by table uh, we can synchronize side uh, but if you go back to the replication side you can schema level replicate, replicate or a uh, group of tables we can replicate or you can exclude the tables but whereas here we can use a uh, uh, <coughs> insert update or upset logic or a delete uh, uh, cases we can use it okay so this is uh, this is what but uh, in, in replication task or uh, the uh, it is inbuilt to manage the incremental side but whereas here the downside is there is no incremental we can we can use the upset logic instead of that like here uh, to manage the situation any any changes comes across okay this is this is the quick understanding between replication versus synchronization task okay so today video in continuation with a practical demo i'm going to only walk you through with a replication task in my next video i will come up with a synchronization task due to time uh, time reception okay so let me jump into replication task practical demo um, yeah so if you come back to data integration side basically before getting to data integration side um, i have created two schema for uh, this demo purpose source uh, source user and target user uh, in real time you'll see uh, both uh, uh, schema will be in a uh, different uh, uh means like source source can be oracle source or salesforce source and target can be uh, again oracle or a flat file okay so no other sources uh, as of now it's been not been supported but yeah so i'm taking a quick example in the same database itself source as well as target so um here if you see in the source side we are having almost uh, two tables we have okay uh yeah four tables we have okay in target we don't have any tables as such uh, now uh, let us try to refresh and see in the replication task how it's going to replicate okay 
Uh, one more important thing is in replication task, we don't have to oh, create a table in upfront. Uh, um, but whereas in synchronization, uh, synchronization task, the table supposed to be there in the target as well before uh, uh, kicking off the task. Okay, so let us jump into informatica data integration for replication task. Okay, so new. Uh, once you click on uh, new and new assets under new assets you can see straight away replication task the fourth item S uh, okay select copy the data from the sales for or database source only as i told it will as of now it will only support sales for or database source uh, and it can be a target can be a database or a flat file okay that is what the quick understanding you have to keep in your mind okay so let us hit a create button so before getting into the detail of it uh, you can see five steps uh, basically first the source definition then the target definition and if there is any field exclusion if you want to do you can do that and if you want to apply the filters in the uh, the source side data whatever you are getting it you want to filter it you can make the filter it and finally uh, when you before finishing it uh, you can schedule it or you can run on time so it's up to you okay so let's come back to the uh, step one now again so this is the location location is nothing but the project folder as of now my project folder is default and if you want to give uh, the meaningful name you can give it for example i'm giving replication replicating data from hr system to analyzing uh, analyzing analytical reporting system okay and as i told you before i created a source schema i'm selecting that source connection and in case if uh, in, in in our situation we have four tables correct so if you want to replicate all the four table as is you can you can make use of all object in in some situation if you uh, based on business reasons you want to select only a specific table you can do that as well so for example let it load i will show you see whatever we saw in sql developer see now the four tables are appearing in out of these four tables i want to select only emp and dep let us assume that okay see in the right hand side once it is selected it has been active so that's it so now the tables have been included okay oh, sorry I, I didn't select it okay select it okay the tables have been selected now okay so which means out of four tables in the whole, sch whole schema user we are selected only two tables only for replication um, <clears throat> then um, the next thing is the target so target select the target connection again and if you want to give the prefix of the target table let us give simple uh, prefix I'll go t underscore so what will happen is it will create a target table uh, with a prefix of t underscore for example emp is the source table t underscore emp and t underscore dept it will create so in case if you want to change your uh, uh, loading uh, strategy to bulk so you can uh, make it as true but uh, be sure that when uh, when when you do the bulk uh, bulk loading there won't be any log capture any rollback mechanism will not be taken care that is the quickest help you can do that but it will be performance wise it will be faster okay so that is a good reason but in our case it's very less data i'm not i'm going to leave it as is okay and other than that like as i mentioned in my uh, document here data replication can be possible full replic full full load or incremental replication source to target or incremental uh, loads after uh, initial partial load that is also possible so but uh, um, as of now oh, they are uh, in, in <coughs> this setup we have uh, only full load uh, each run can be possible to do that so um, this is not possible so when we say incremental loads after full initial load so for uh, first 14 records you have installed uh, means uh, loaded uh, from the emp table and um, if you take it but the next iteration if there is any changes or any new uh, new records coming in that changes is considered as incremental load 
and it will be uh, taken care in uh, in the first half end when we say incremental loads after initial partial load assuming that out of 14 records 7 records only uh, 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 you are filtering to load it uh, then you want to uh, um, process the rest for 7 records uh, that will be considered as a second option okay and and the delete option if you want to use make use of it uh, remove deleted columns and rows uh, uh, means any any ro uh, columns or rows have been deleted in the source side so that uh, that will be uh, um, uh, say, uh, replicated accordingly in the uh, subsequent uh, load okay and similarly the retain deleted columns is vice versa okay and and the, the advanced option here you can mention the commit size assuming that you have millions of rows you uh, you can you can commit uh, in the chunk wise because to increase the boost of the performance you can ensure that okay so i'm not go going to do that since my data set is very low so <clears throat> okay so now the target step is done the third step is field exclusion in case if you are interested in field exclusion Let's wait for it. Yeah. So in case if you want to do any fields exclusion, you can do that. So for example, uh, this particular table, you want to <coughs> exclude any particular column. You don't want it. You can do that. For example, commission column. I don't want to do that. I'll say, okay, I don't want to include the commission column. So let us keep it here. Um, yeah. So maybe I can do that. So for just for testing purpose only, I'm going to show it. Okay. So uh, out of these two tables in under EMP table, I'm excluding commission column not to be loaded into the target site while I'm doing the replication. That is the idea behind this purpose. Okay. And the next thing is if you want to process all rows or uh, process only first hundred rows. So that is also possible. Uh, you can, if you want to do the filter, you can do that. Okay. So. Mm, so for example i'm going to limit uh, limit salary um, greater than 800 okay so, so uh, salary uh, sorry salary greater than will greater than or equals okay so i mentioned this call okay so we uh, this is what uh, means whatever uh, in the employee table side whatever uh, the salary greater than 800 it will be considered for loading this side okay so the step four uh, on data filter as well completed now uh, now final step is scheduling so uh, i'm not going to make it as a uh, run this task for a scheduling so let us try to run it in a uh, ad hoc uh, one time so if you want to schedule it you can do that and you can handle rest of the things like uh, in it and, and handling in case of uh, error handling if you want to send a mail notification or warning email notification everything you can set up as per your convenient okay so i'm not going to touch the, all those things it's uh, and similarly when you come to execution mode the standard or verbose standard it will uh, throw you the limited information for your uh, maintenance purpose when you do that uh, uh, what kind of log information is there you can take a, qu a quick de uh, decision on fixing the issues when you get a verbose it will generate generally it's not recommended when the volume of data is more the verbose will generate a lot of data but you have to be more cautious when you do that but it's really useful but uh, be sure that it will occupy so much of uh, spaces okay and pre-processing commands is under general uh, post-processing command of this task <coughs> you can mention whatever the commands you want to do it you can do that i'm not going to touch again and number of locks anything can mention it that's it so let's hit a finish button now okay so now the replication tasks have been created let's try to run it and see that okay so the job has been kicked off we'll see parallel go to the target schema site the table is created or not see the first table got created now second table also have been created we'll see that
let's wait for the task to complete so task have been completed basically since it's showing two task means it's like uh, for emp table and dept table out of four tables uh, we have selected only two objects to be replicated so out of these two object also emp table we have put a filter condition as well as <coughs> Uh, database filters we applied correct like uh, that also we double check it and we have excluded column as well so let us see that see now the commission column we excluded the commission column is not appearing and similarly if you see how many columns have been how many rows have been loaded uh, only okay 14 rows have been loaded okay unfortunately <laughs> the salary is uh, starting with uh, 800 and above or the criteria what i gave it is not a uh, meet out okay maybe next time so we, we will co cover it so we should have given little uh, higher side for filtration so we could have excluded easily uh, this many records okay never mind so the commission column uh, excluded uh, successfully you can see that uh, part of the column exclusion okay and similarly we can see um, the dept table also replicated correctly we'll see that yeah so uh, that's it friends for the replication task for uh, for now so i'll co i'll continue my synchronization task video next time you can watch uh, uh, my next video for synchronization task thanks you thank you for watching my video please subscribe my channel